when you want to get work done, mobility is important. And HP have recently released a couple of products to help. They're pretty pricey, so let's see if you get your money's worth. The HP Elite X2 is a 2-in-1 PC, aimed at the business professional looking for a computer that's light, portable and stylish, featuring Intel's Skylake processors and a touch pen interface. At first glance, you can't help but notice the design similarities to the Surface Pro 4. It's roughly the same size and weight, a little heavier. The difference is the HP X2 is made out of aviation grade aluminium, resulting in a professional and clean looking notebook. The hinge on the back is 150 degrees of tilt, and HP have designed it to be opened 8 times a day, 7 days a week for up to 5 years. So as far as build quality goes, it looks like it's designed to take a few knocks out in the field. So let's get the specs out of the way. There's a couple of SKUs, but the one we have here is a Skylake Core M7, and that's fanless, so the whole unit is completely silent. It's also got 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of M.2 storage. In terms of ports, you have a USB Type-C that doubles as a charging port, a micro SD card slot, USB 3.0, headphone jack, volume rocker, power button, and on the back there's a fingerprint scanner which is kind of like those old school laptop ones. The screen's sitting at 12.3 inches and it's a nice clear resolution, but it's just a little too dark. I had to keep the screen on at least 75 to 100% brightness when I used it, and this did seem to chew through the battery life a bit. The panel is Gorilla Glass 3, so expect to have a small amount of glare, but it's durable against surface scratches. Above the display we have a 2 megapixel camera that can record 1080p video. It doesn't support the Windows facial recognition feature, but it will be adequate enough for video conferencing. On the back there's also a 5 megapixel camera with flash. I found the camera had a bit of a hard time focusing, but it's good enough for scanning documents and signing them with the included action pen. The pen uses Wacom technology and has 2040 levels of pressure sensitivity, which is double what you find on the Surface Pro. It has quick shortcuts for launching OneNote, and another tool at the bottom that you can assign to anything you want. It's actually a really good stylus, I prefer it over the Surface Pen. It's accurate, consistent, and the palm rejection technology works well. But unlike the Surface Pen which has magnets built in, the HP Action Pen gives you nowhere to keep it while you move around. You can't stick it to the side, and clipping it to the case just doesn't feel secure enough. They did actually include a small loop in the box that you can tie to the computer itself, but I didn't really consider this a good alternative. The HP Action Pen is included in the box, along with the travel keyboard, and the keyboard's actually pretty good. It's thin, made of metal, which makes it feel a lot stronger than most other folios. The keys are really nice, in my opinion they feel better than the Surface Pro type cover, with 1.5mm of travel distance and 2 levels of backlight brightness. The glass trackpad below is spacious, but it's not the best. Don't get me wrong, it does the job, but I didn't find it to be as accurate as other detachables out there, and I found I was dragging my finger more than once to move the cursor most times. Something strange is this device comes with stereo, bang and Olufsen speakers, which is a reputable company known for making high-end gear, but I was actually quite disappointed in the speakers. The highs were decent, the mids were washed out and there was absolutely no bass. In fact the mono speaker on my iPhone got louder and in my opinion had better sound quality overall. For consumers I believe there's better options out there. For businesses considering the Lead X2 for mass deployment, it does contain all of HP's security features, such as HP BIOS protection and power on authentication. There's also no glue inside, so with a couple of suction cups remove the front panel, you're able to upgrade components or service the units quite easily which is a huge advantage. It's made to get work done, video creators and anyone that uses AutoCAD might want to consider something more powerful. But with that being said, the X2 had no problem with heaps of chrome tabs, full HD video viewing and even a fair amount of photoshop use was completely fine. It comes with Windows 10 Pro 64 bit and even has a sim tray for working and accessing the web on the go, which is something the Surface Pro lacks. All in all there's a couple of strange things, like how there's a charging notification light, but the included L shaped plug covers it, so you can't see when it's finished charging. If you turn it upside down you can see the light but then you're covering the micro USB tray and USB port. Also only having one USB-C port means you can't hook the computer up to a monitor and charge the unit at the same time, which is a little inconvenient. There's no place to keep the pen, the speakers are poor and the battery life is average when you need to keep the screen on full brightness all the time. But really, those are small problems and won't be deal breakers to the market this is aimed at. This device has done a lot of things right. The stand is high quality, it can be adjusted to any position, not just two or three adjustments. It's light and portable, has enough power to run some pretty intense programs. The action pen is spot on. It comes with HP Enterprise and security apps, and HP have made this device easily serviceable by not gluing any components down and just using standard Phillips screws. There's a Kensington lock built into the side, the fingerprint scanner works well and this all comes with some very high quality accessories in the box. If you're thinking of buying this to deploy across the enterprise for upper management, the Elite X2 is a solid choice. There's also the Elite X3, which seems to be basically what the Lumia 950 should have been, and that takes business portability to the next level. 
If you want to check out that video, you can click the link on the screen. I'm Eli from PB Tech. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.